Hey everybody, Language is Lover here and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to make a review on the Hebrew book from ASML, which is Ivrit. So I hope you guys will enjoy and if you do, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, just to let me know that you love my content. And yeah, I really <laughs> like doing content for you guys, so seeing that you actually appreciate my content is always appreciated, so... Thank you guys so much in advance. You're the best. So, Hebrew. This is a new edition. I don't know why, but I always prefer to get the new editions just to get them modernized, I guess. But yeah, it doesn't matter whether you get the old or the new ones. But yeah, really good. SML is always the best method. Uh, beginners and false beginners. B2 at the 85th lesson. This one has 85 lessons. Which is sh not that short, but still short by SML standards. But yeah, the, the couple of last ones I did don't actually take you... Well, they actually take you to AB2 level, but they don't have 100 lessons. So, see, Hebrew is also an ancient language. But it actually has a modern speech. Just like Greek, it has a modern speech. Except for the Greek, it's actually called Modern Greek. And Hebrew, you can actually just call it Hebrew. And people will know what you're talking about. Although it is a very old language. Here you have your future tense, for example. Like, I will learn, I will do, and etc. So yeah, talking about next year. Cham chamot. Hamot, yeah. There are still some Hebrew sounds I'm not sure about how to do, but Hebrew and Arabic are actually very, very close. So if you speak Arabic or you speak Hebrew very well, you can learn the other language really easily. In my case, I still consider myself a beginner in both languages, but yeah. If you learn both at the same time, I'm pretty sure you can have a very awesome time. Like for example, I am in Arabic is Anna, and in Hebrew it's any. So you only change one letter for that case, but it's not always the case actually, but for most of the time it is really a lot of stuff. Both languages have roots for uh, for verbs. And also for for nouns, I don't know Arabic has, but Hebrew, not sure, really, but I think it has. I would love to go to Israel at some point. It is one of my most visited countries in the world. I don't know why, but I've always felt something for Israel. Just like the story behind this country, it's crazy. So yeah, I really hope I could get to visit Israel at some point. So yeah, Bokertov. So yeah, two authors actually for this one. And by the way, I'm not sure I've ever said that, but at the end you can actually see the a picture of the writers. So these are how they look like, and they actually have a description of what they do. So yeah, I don't think I've ever pointed that out, but. Yeah, that's the case. So, all right. So that's a review on the Hebrew course from Asimil. So if you guys have enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. That'd be super awesome. Amazing. Hit the notification bell if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.